Okay, I gotta turn off autofocus. This thing's going crazy. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this is in focus. If you're anything like me, then you love a good cheap microphone. This is not a cheap microphone. This is a Shure SM58, the classic indestructible thing. But I've got it set up because I'm gonna be reviewing a microphone that's less than one fifth of the cost of this one. It's called the K6 and it is from Fine Fine. It's spelled F-I-F-I-N-E, but I have been told that it is pronounced fine fine, like double fine. And I know that because someone from fine fine said, hey, we think we've got a really great mic and we would like you to review it. And I'm like, totally, I like cheap mics. Right, you don't care about any of that stuff. Let's just go to the mic. All right. You know, it looks like a dynamic microphone and it's got a little on off switch, so that's kind of neat. It also comes with this eight foot cable, which is an XLR to um, quarter inch. I'm not going to use for this test, but it might come in handy. Let's just plug it in. Turn it on. And there we go. So what you're now hearing is the K6 microphone. Now I'm comparing it to the SM58, which may not be fair. Uh, I, or maybe it is fair. I don't know. I'm going to obviously review this in and of itself and be as honest as I can. But the SM58 is kind of a good standard to judge by. But I can't do any of that until I listen to it later. So I just got to read something. And because I record these videos late at night after I finally got my kids to go to bed, I thought I'd read you a bedtime story. This is I Love You All the Time. My apologies to Jessica. Oh my gosh, your name is too long. My apologies to the author and illustrator in case there's any copyright infringement here. Mini review aside here, this book is melatonin times 10 for my kids. So I'll put on my best daddy reading a bedtime story voice. <clears throat> I love you in the morning and all throughout the day. I love you every moment in many different ways. I love you all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to see the pictures? I love you when the clouds pour rain and when the sun shines bright. I love you when we count the stars and when we fly a kite. I love you all the time. All right, let's just stop it right there for now. Now I gotta listen to it and then give you my review. But before I do that, I have here a Behringer XM8500. This little kit comes in at about the same price as the K6. So I kind of feel like I need to compare them together. Okay. So let's finish this story up. I love you when I read the end and when I shut the light. I love you when I kiss your cheek and when I say sleep tight. I love you all the time. Even when you can't see me, I love you all the time. By that point, they're pretty much completely passed out. So if you've got like a four or five year old trying to go to sleep. Okay, so I've given it a listen. And, um, and it was interesting. I think the first thing that jumped out at me is just how much louder the K6 seemed. But then as I listened a little more, I noticed that the K6 felt a little um, like fuller in the low end. You might say it sounded warmer or you might say it sounded boomier. It's kind of a matter of preference. Almost a compressed feeling in the lower end. I think the SM58 sounded a little more natural uh, and the K6 maybe sounded a little bit more process, but it was kind of a pleasant processing. I happen to like kind of a warm sound, but I went ahead and tried to match them. So here's a look at the two EQs. So the SM58 is on the top here, level EQ, and then the K6 is here on the bottom. And you can see I brought the overall level down by 6 dB, and I dropped the lows and mid lows um, by about another 6 dB. And that felt like it matched pretty well. Yeah, I mean, this microphone goes for $99. This microphone goes for less than one fifth of that. So the fact that you have to roll a little of the low end off to make it sound the same is pretty good as far as I'm concerned. But this is an official review, so I thought I should come up with an official way of giving numbers. One through 10, but broken down into four categories. So the first category, one that's super important to me, is performance. Basically, does it do what it's supposed to do? Second category, quality. 
kind of like build quality and durability, which is sometimes hard to gauge. Versatility, is it a one trick pony or can you use it in a lot of different ways? And then lastly, uh, the cost. In that case, a higher number means a lower cost. So how did the K6 do? Uh, performance, does the K6 match up to the standard bearer, the SM58? Not exactly, so I would give it almost a perfect score of a, a two. Um, but then there's this added on off switch, which in certain situations, like if you're passing the mic around a lot at an event or something, that would be really helpful. So I actually kind of want to bump it up to like a three, or maybe like a 2.5 um, because of that added feature. All right, quality, build quality. It's hard to say. It feels good in hand. It's a little long. There's definitely some plastic components. Um, you know, I haven't had it that long, so I can't say for sure. But on a scale of zero to two, I'll give it a one right in the middle. Versatility. I feel like people will always say that the SM58 is like the most versatile mic. And I got to say, I feel like the K6 would be just as versatile. In fact, the fact that it has that more sort of compressed low end, you might actually, dare I say, prefer it for certain recordings, maybe like a warm finger pick guitar sound or something like that. So for versatility, I'm going to give it a, a full score of two. And finally, for cost, I mean, I got to give it a three because this thing, you could buy more than five of these things for the cost of one of these. So altogether, that's 8.5, which I would say is definitely a big thumbs up from me. I'm going to use it for sure. Now, as far as the little test I did with the Behringer, I didn't compare the SM58 with the Behringer in this test. Um, but when I play clips from those side by side, they really sound like indistinguishable. I love you when I'm with my friends and when I'm all alone. I love you when I leave the room and when I'm on the phone. The Behringer's a little bit more expensive than the K6, not much, um, and it doesn't have an on-off switch. So maybe we'll leave that for another review. I think that's it for now, and uh, thanks for joining me.